Hello viewers, welcome to linuxhelp.com. Today we are going to see how to enable or disable repositories in CentOS. I am sure most of you use CM repositories to install softwares on RPM based distributions like RHEL, CentOS. Sometimes you might want to install a software from a group of specific repositories or you may want to disable all repositories and install a package from a single repository. If you ever wonder how to do that, here this is a short tutorial that describes how to enable or disable a single or group of M repositories while installing softwares in CentOS. Let's get started. As you already know, we can list the number of available repositories in CentOS. Use the following command as a root user. As you see in the above output, I have added two more additional repositories named EPEL and Remy. These are the two important repositories that provides packages which are not found in CentOS official repository. One thing is whenever you run yum update command, those additional repositories will be updated. So the packages from that repository will also be updated to the latest versions. Sometimes you don't want to install the latest packages and want to stick with the older version instead. In such cases, you can include a repository so that packages from the repositories will not be upgraded. We can enable or disable repositories in two ways. One is temporary method and another is permanent method. First, let's see how to enable or disable repositories temporarily. So this is going to be my preferred method. In this method, we can temporarily exclude a repository to prevent a package from being updated. So let's see an example. To disable a multiple repository, just include the repositories updated by comma as shown in this command. Here I am separating the two repositories by the comma. This above command will display Remy and updates that is a CentOS official repository temporarily. You can even use this method to install a package too. So by this way, you, are, you can even uh, similarly enable and disable a particular repository at the same time with the m command. So this command will both enable and disable a particular repositories at the same with the m command. So the above command will disable all the repositories except EPL repository. So this is how we can uh, disable a repository temporarily. Let's see how to enable or uh, disable a repository permanently. Usually the repository configuration file will be saved in etc slash m dot repos dot d. So let us see the available repositories using command. So you can see here these are the available repositories. Let's disable a EPL dot repo. To do so go to the EPL repository file. So we are in the configuration file. We have to go to the enable. Here we have to change the enable value. One is equal to zero. Save the file. Now let's check the repo list. So 
so if you see here there is no epel repository available here similarly you can change the value of enable line is equal to zero to enable the repository you don't know how to enable or disable a particular or group of repositories as you can see in the tutorial this is very easy to do that's all for now hope this guide helps you hey, if you like our channel please don't forget to subscribe for more videos please do visit www.linuxhelp.com and also mail us to support.linuxhelp.com for further queries